Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you a really great technique to do a vignette in Photoshop. I always do my vignettes in Photoshop. I don't do them in Lightroom. Um, obviously, if you do it in Lightroom and then bring it into Photoshop, it's baked into your image. Whereas if you do it in Photoshop, uh, using the technique I'm going to show you, you've got the ability to control it, redo it without kind of uh, screwing up your whole image. So it's a non-destructive technique and it's a technique that gives you a lot more control. So very, very simple, just done with an adjustment layer. So if I click here, go to curves, what I start with is just dragging this down to dark on the overall image. So that's kind of how dark the vignette effect is going to be, and then we're going to lighten the middle area to uh, you know achieve the vignette effect. Now, key technique to making this work is under your blend modes here, you want to change this to luminosity. So it's just off screen in the video, but I'm just going to select that down the bottom, and you can see there uh, that's now set to luminosity. So if you look before and after, you can see it, what it's doing. It's kind of preserving uh, the colors in the light area, but just darkening everything else. So I'm gonna call this vignette. And then the way I do this, I mean, you know, obviously a vignette is a, is a lens effect, so it's gonna start from the edges and come in. So I just get a brush and paint black on the adjustment layers mask area here to bring in the middle area so it's lighter. So got my brush selected, I'm going to need a black color to mask out the uh, middle area. And then if you use the right bracket on your keyboard to make that really, really big, that will bring in the center. What you might want to do is change your brush so you've got more of an oval shaped brush. I never really worry about that. Um, I just use the round brush and just paint across it. So I've got my opacity at 100, flow at 4. I'll probably bring up the flow because I, I, I want this to come all the way through and, and let in the image underneath. And then I can just sort of paint in the center area there. And you can see what it's done. If you look at the uh, mask there, you can see it just about created a little oval effect there. Um, and it's actually exactly where I want it because it's putting a little bit more of a vignette on the right side where she's out of shot um, and it's focusing more around her. The other reason this is great is because you can tweak the vignette a bit more and prevent areas you don't want going too dark. Uh, from sort of being darkened by the vignette. So if I bring the uh, brush size down a little bit, I'm gonna change the flow down to say, say about 19%. Uh, and then I just wanna take the vignette off her face a bit so she isn't darkened too much. So I can paint a little there and then I might put a little bit around her hand and chest area here so that isn't darkened too much. And you can see what that's done to the mask there. It's just a, making sure that she stays sort of in focus and not affected by the vignette, but it is still there and having that kind of vignette effect on the rest of the photo. So if I toggle that on and off now, you can see what that's done. It's subtle and much more nuanced and controlled than what you'd get with a vignette effect in Lightroom or, or something that just automates it across uh, your whole image. So that's all there is to it. I hope this is useful. Uh, if you like this, there's plenty of other tutorials on Photoshop and toy photography on the channel here on Toy Shooter. So make sure you subscribe and head to toyshooter.com and sign up for our newsletter and you can pick up our free toy photography guide. Thanks for watching. See you next time.